que está aquí adentro. What did I just say? It means what is in here. Happy Mother's Day to me! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. I'm sorry you had to see that, girl. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that are mothering somebody. Let me tell you something. God has been pressing this message into my heart lately that even if you're not a mom, you can mother somebody through prayer, through encouraging words. Mothering doesn't just consist of, you know, having a baby out of your vagina or a C-section and that is the only way that a mother could be a mother. No, there's so many people and women that have been my um, mentors and, and have mothered me throughout these years. I have my own mother. Yes, that's wonderful. I'm so grateful for my mom. I'm so grateful for everything that she is to me. I'm so grateful for her weaknesses and I'm so grateful for her strengths and I'm grateful for who I am today because God gave me my earthly mother. But I am also grateful for the people, the women, the men that mothered me through my life and that prayed for me and that covered me in a mothering spirit throughout my growing. Oh, there's a cat. There, sorry, I don't have a cat. There's just a cat walking in my backyard. Hey, what's up? You want to pay some rent? All right, cat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> you didn't think you were going to see some craziness today, right? But you are, so welcome. My name is Libier, by the way. If you, this is your first time watching, I, I make videos every week on beauty, style, and inspiration. It is my joy to make content that will give your life value, that you would go from my channel encouraged and inspired and excited to be all that you can be through beauty, lifestyle, and um, inspiration. Because I think we are better together. And the more lovies that we have on this channel, the more vibes and good comments and um, just awesomeness that happens on this in this place, a little community, um, the better. I'm making these videos because one, I want to serve you. I want to serve you and your needs. And I know that you have needs that I can fill because God made us all different. And I know that there are parts of me that you need and parts of you that I need. So I'm just so grateful for you. Grateful for your comments, grateful for your time watching. So anyway, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Libya. I'm getting crazy here. I feel super excited. I'm spitting um, and things are happening. I'm just, you know, I'm in a season right now where I'm like reflecting over all of these years of work and like putting one foot in front of the other and feeling sometimes like things weren't working out and things like that. But now everything, I just feel like this harvest is coming in and I'm just reaping what I've sowed, which was a lot of work and a lot of, um, commitment uh, to myself and to my brand and to my channels and my blog and I just feel like God is honoring that right now so I just I just sprinkle that blessing upon you as well and I and I share my favor I share my love to you and I hope that you have not only just a great Mother's Day if you're a mother I hope that you if you have a mom well, you do have a mother we all have a mother <laughs> but you know what I mean like that subject sometimes is so hard because some of us don't have a physical mother. Sometimes we don't have an emotional mother because our mother is um, deep in depression or or doing drugs or alcohol. Like sometimes our mother is just isn't there. And I know that subject can be so hurtful and hard sometimes for some of us to hear Happy Mother's Day. Well, what is what is being a mother and what is a mother, right? So, but as I was as I was talking about before, know that. Wherever you're at, however you have been mothered or however you have not been mothered, I want to encourage you that God can, God can heal every place a mother has taken from you, if that makes any sense. I know some of you out there that are watching this might have a horrible relationship with your mom, and this day brings a lot of grief and difficult feeling. So I'm praying for you specifically right now that your heart would be encouraged and that your heart would be healed um, and that you would take from this video that God can heal those places. And God can show you too that your story and the way that you have been brought up and the, the, the things that you've hurt with are 
not going to be in vain. God is not going to just leave you at your pain. God's going to come in and he is going to partner with you. He's going to mother you. He's going to show you how to mother yourself. I know that sounds weird, but I've, I've had to learn in some aspects and areas of my life how to mother myself, how to encourage myself, how to become my best cheer, cheerleader. <laughs> My best cheerleader, my best cheerleader, because when I when I can do that for myself, then I can give it to others, right? Well, we can't give what we don't have. So if you don't have that right, like mothering spirit, then you can't give that. But if you ask God, God will supply all that you need. Anyway, oh my goodness, I don't even know if this intro made any sense to you at all. But I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I'm. Um, that I get to share my my heart with you because it's so important to me to share the good and the hard and the and the difficult and the easy and the victorious and the um of life, right? And I think with this Mother's Day coming up, there's a lot of feelings in all of us. There's some of us that had amazing mothers, and um, and you might look at your mom and be like, oh, I'm so grateful that I had you. And sometimes maybe even you know there's like an expectation to be just like her or something and you, you have to look at your mom not as a superhero because they are superheroes mothers are superheroes but they're also human beings you listen to me mothers are superheroes but they're also human beings they're human beings who make mistakes they're human beings who are doing the best that they can with what they have and sometimes what they have is not a lot of hope not a lot of joy and they can't give that so when we put an expectation on a mother to be x y and z expectation is just a date with disappointment so i just would just offer to you today to take away any expectation of your mom and to put her not on a platform but just be grateful just be so grateful for her for her strengths and her weaknesses and just look at her as a human being who is super amazing and awesome and like a superhero human because your mama, she loves you, and I know that every mother has to love her child, but there's just so much that goes in motherhood, and there's so much, there's there's depression, there's anxiety, there's PTSD, there's uh, post-traumatic, well, the, what, like, what, what is it called? Like postpartum depression, there's just so many aspects and things that happen in motherhood that um, could be affecting your mom, um, or there's perfectionism and controlling, manipulative, on and 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 on. So that's what I'm saying. Just see your mom as a human. She's a human being who is awesome, but who has weaknesses and strengths. Anyway, all this to say, happy Mother's Day to anyone out there who is a mother or has ever been a mother to anybody. Happy Mother's Day. And from my family to me, we got this little net a porter package. I'm going to open it up with you. Que está aquí adentro? What did I just say? It means what is in here? Que está aquí adentro? Is what is in here? Ah! Woo! I am so excited. This is my new addition to my handbag collection. I will link my old handbag collection down below if you want to check that out. That was a fun video to make. Um, but yeah, this has been a um a little desire of my heart for a while and i wanted it last summer but i was kind of like yeah i don't know it's a little expensive so i didn't want to just make the plunge and get it because i always think of to myself why is it that i want something right and god is showing me that desire isn't bad there's no there's nothing wrong with me desiring or um delighting in something and god god always whispers into my heart and especially there's a verse that says seek his kingdom first seek his kingdom first and he will give you the desires of your heart so i have have been learning how to walk in faith and be like a little kid to god because before i didn't think i could ask for anything i would just be like okay whatever your will is right and that's great that's awesome because I want to be in God's will, but at the same time, I think God really, really delights in our faith and he delights to see us seeking him as a father. And what wouldn't a father do? There's another verse that says like, if you who are evil can give good gifts to your children, how much more will God bless you? 
I will I will pop that on here and and let you know exactly what scripture that is because that just like came off the top of my head and I don't know if I'm saying it verbatim what it says in the Bible so go check for yourself so that I'm not just like spewing out something that is not in there but that is the gist of the verse it says if we who are evil give good gifts to our children you know how much more is God gonna bless you so I would just encourage you to not think in a lack mentality but think of abundance just because you desire something doesn't mean that it's going to be taken away from somebody else god is a god of abundance and he has enough for all of us he has enough for all of us he's a rich and rich and rich and fat and abundant and juicy and jelly papa he's a good father he's a good father who gives good gifts to his children so hey <laughs> cult yeah i don't even know how to pronounce this cult gaia Gaia or Gia? Gia? Gaia. I'm so sorry to this brand if I'm butchering your name, but I really do love, love it. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. And here it is. It's an adorable little clutch. What? That is super summer and spring appropriate. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. I already have an outfit with this. I will link it down below and I just uh, I just did that a couple weeks ago so I'm not unboxing this for the first time just so you know I put it back in the box and I'm taking it out and I'm like look at look at look at look it but I've had it for a while so <laughs> just to be real just to be honest I've already taken it out and I really really like it um, what I love doing is grabbing another little bag that's a little smaller and just popping it in here so things you know things can't really fall out because the little ridges are very tiny but if you had coins or something you know like a gum stick or something like that that would be falling out of here you want to just put another little bag um, in there and that's what I have done with this one so this is my first little reveal and that is my Mother's Day present anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video I pray and hope that you have a wonderful week I will see you next week don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe if you want to if you want to if 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 you want to don't forget to subscribe yeah don't forget to subscribe yeah hit the little bell hit the little bell hit the little hit the little hit the little bell 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 if you want to see me in your inbox if you want to see me in your inbox Share this video with somebody, somebody you love, somebody you love. I love you, I love you, I miss you, I miss you, I kiss, nope, I only kiss my husband. Ooh, woo, uh-huh.